But it's I, great to have you back in Dublin. It's great yeah. to be back in Dublin. Because we were saying, how long was it since you were last here to actually play a gig? I did two gigs at the Olympia back in 2010. Mm -hmm. So you've been keeping um, fans waiting, teasing them. <laughs> it's, it's a great venue though, so I'm, 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 I'm sure it'll be worth waiting for. Obviously, home, uh, talk us uh, through, uh, I guess it's a conception and, and the original ideas behind it. Singing has always been home for me, mm -hmm. um, even though I feel completely nervous before I go on stage. I'd, Still? Yeah, yeah, what? yeah. Yeah, I, I get ready as late as I possibly can. Do you have this, like a, a mother figure on tour who's like, come on, you've got to go. And I'm like, no, five more minutes. <laughs> I swear. That used, that, used to be, that used to be my wife, but she doesn't travel <laughs> as much with me anymore. Because um, living out with suitcases is her idea of hell. Yes, yeah, so your introduction to all of us and, and to many people in the world was on the biggest stage of all. So. How how did that? How did you do that? I flipped a, I flipped a ten pence piece and decided if it landed on heads, then I'd apply. If it landed on tails, then I'd cancel the whole thing. And if I look back with the benefit of hindsight, uh, you know it's a hell of a risk to take. I ended up performing. I, I didn't think I'd performed all that well. Mm -hmm. What looked like a closed road turned out to be a, a junction in my life, and it was a very important one. <laughs> What is that? Some talent competition where the best performer in Britain gets hundred thousand pound. Do it. Toss a coin. Hey, to press send. Tails, we forget all about it. Right. And uh, of course, the movie as well. I mean, how weird was that? I, it was really strange watching mm. James Corden's mouth move and my voice come out in the singing bits. And were you happy with it? Like when you watched it, were you like, yeah, I can stand with this. I'm proud of this. Um, well, there were many times when I said to my wife, I said, no, I wouldn't have done that. Yeah. And um, she said, uh, mm, yes, you would. <laughs> and of course, Mr. Simon Cowell was a producer on that film, uh, wasn't he? I think he gave me one or two bits of advice here and there. And, um, <laughs> and that was and, it. And I don't think, he, he wasn't involved in the direction yeah, of everything. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but it was great to have his support throughout. And I'm very grateful for the, the platform that the show gave me. Mm -hmm. Without Britain's Got Talent, I wouldn't be doing this. Uh, thinking back to 2007, that is sort of when the YouTube kind of generation thing started kicking off. Mm. So you were one of the first initial viral videos. I think my definition of success is that it doesn't matter what it is you do, whether you're a shelf stacker, a singer, a presenter, or a, a, a street sweeper. If you're doing what makes you feel happy and fulfilled, then you are successful. The winner.